Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kayla here. And you are watching another episode of Fruit Medicine. It's been a while. I pretty much dropped off the face of YouTube for a little while. I am just being honest, I have had a really hard time finding balance and every day I think, I gotta post a video, I gotta post a video, I gotta post a video. I have been distracted by work and school and This Is Us on Netflix and just trying to, trying to stop being so hard on myself. I feel like every time I come to post something on this channel, I'm like, I'm gonna do this now and it's gonna change my life. And in the last couple days, I have been reflecting on this pressure that I have put on myself and that a lot of us put on ourselves, especially in this realm, like, oh, 30 day challenge coming up. I, I want to come more from a place of accepting myself as I am, uh, how I come, and I want to express more gratitude for the changes that I have been able to make, the, the things that I have overcome, and the things that I've prevented from happening to myself, to others, the positive impact that I've had on the world. There's so many things that I am doing on a daily basis to feel good about. And instead, I've spent the majority of my time since I've seen you last getting down on myself because I couldn't stick to raw or my body doesn't feel the way I feel like it should or if I, you know, when I finally have this thing, then, then I'm going to be happy. And that's just not how it works. If we're constantly seeking, oh, that is just gonna be that, that one thing is going to transform my life. Transformation is a thing that we chip away at day by day. If you've, you know, ever been to a museum or an art gallery and you've seen a marble sculpture or a, you know, painting that takes up a whole wall, like there was a vision and that thing didn't come together in, you know, three hours or a 30 day challenge or whatever. Like that was a vision and dedication of showing up over and over and over again. And so much of the time spent doing that thing, creating that art, creating that masterpiece, whatever your masterpiece is, so much of that time you don't think that you're actually making progress. It feels like you're still stuck on day one. And the difference between that piece of art, that masterpiece, that life change, that happiness actually occurring in someone's life and someone staying stuck in the same place is keeping that vision in your mind. And I think one of the things that has held me back personally is that the vision changes, or it has changed a lot. There have been very few constants with my vision. Until, I would say, I would say in the last six to 12 months, my vision, my ability to, in my mind, visualize, to picture my future, has become so much more fine-tuned than it ever has been in my life. One of the things that I love doing, and I find that people respond to it, that it does something for other people too, is sharing my journey, is showing my imperfection, showing my sadness, my happiness, my you know anger, my joy, my you know all of the rainbow, not just you know your favorite color, but everything that's going on. Can you see how humid it is in here? <laughs> It looks like I'm in the middle of a snowstorm. It's just humid on the windows because I just finished teaching. Yeah, I posted something on Facebook today. I should read it to you. I was at the gym. I went to the gym. I started, I went to the gym on Saturday morning. I think it was Saturday morning. Yes, it was on Saturday morning. 
and I hadn't been in months. I went in because I knew I had to update, I had to update my credit card information, otherwise there might have been some nasty charges there. So I'm like, I should go do a little workout. And I'm trying to, I'm actually trying to run again, I'm trying to change my gait, how I run. So my legs are still sore. It's Tuesday, and I'm sore from Saturday morning. <laughs> Anyway, I went to the gym again this morning, second time I'm trying to get back in my routine. I I've currently am doing uh, some workouts from Naturally Stephanie through her vegan aesthetics program. So that's what's happening. Come on. So this is what I posted and I was like halfway through my weight training workout this morning and I just had this like thought pop in my mind. And this is what I said. I put this like, you know, one of those big, the black backgrounds. I said, whatever it is that you hope to become in the future, take one step today to make that dream a reality. Don't wait, start today. Don't wait, start today. And the reason, I know I'm remembering, the reason why I posted this was I was working out on a bench doing, I don't know, presses or something, but there's a, uh, a cork board uh, on the wall, like right in front of me where they put like these little printed inspirational quotes and stuff. And one of the quotes was something about how tomorrow is a disease or tomorrow doesn't exist and the whole I'll start tomorrow thing. If you have a dream that you are working towards, if you have a vision of yourself, of something you want in your life, something you're working towards, something that you, you know, have this tiny little aspiration that you would like it to be part of your life at some point in time, take one step today towards whatever that thing is. Maybe you're saving up for a BMW and you put $1 into a savings account. You took a step. You said, universe, I'm taking this and I'm taking action. I'm putting this away with this intention. Or for me, I want a new camera. I've talked about this on my other channel. The camera I'm using very right now is very nice. It's very nice, but I want what I want. And I don't have to explain that to you, <laughs> but I am putting away some money for this camera, separate from my other expenses. This is something that I want, but I also am going into it understanding, and this is something I didn't do in the past. I'm going into it with the understanding that when I have this item, it's not all of a sudden I'm going to transform into this different person. Part of the reason I want this camera is so that I have something that's easy to carry around, so I can do more vlogs, so I can share with you guys more, but if I get that camera today or tomorrow, but I'm not in the routine of vlogging, of doing these things already, even if it's just occasionally, how am I all of a sudden going to create a new routine just because I got this new item? I'm still going to be the exact same person. So I am taking steps today so that when I bring a new object or item in my life with an intention that I've already got that ball rolling and that's just going to make things even greater. And that's all I have for today. So I hope you guys are doing amazing. It's so good to be back. I look forward to sharing more of what's been going on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.